What's up guys, this is Mike, the Detroit Borg, with a video on what has become one of my favorite pieces of tech I own. This is LG's 65-inch E8 OLED TV, and I've been using it for the past four months. So the E-Series is one of LG's top-end OLED TVs with a truly stunning on-glass design. Right now, it's actually a great time to buy one of LG's OLED TVs because they've been heavily discounted. So for example, the E8 I'm reviewing here, right now is $31.99. Normally, they retail for $4,000. But if you don't really care about the on glass design or the latest processor, you can get the B8 OLED, which retails for $22.99 down a thousand dollars from its MSRP. Really the big difference between the B8 and the E8 is the Alpha 7 versus Alpha 9 CPU. The Alpha 9 delivers big improvements in noise reduction, sharpness, depth enhancement, and color reproduction. But for the most part, you're really not gonna notice the difference between the B8 and the E8. So I think it's definitely worth the cost savings. In terms of unboxing this TV, the proper way to do this is to make sure you keep the packaging on the TV before you install the stand so you don't damage anything when you lay it down. So I'm actually gonna lay it down on the box so I can get access to the bottom of this TV. Now the stand design here is unlike anything I've seen before. Basically this entire TV is a sheet of glass in which everything else is attached to. It includes the display and all of the electronics and the stand. So the stand basically fastens to the glass panel on the bottom edge of the TV. There's actually a metal strip along the glass which the stand attaches to. The clever thing about this stand design is that it looks like the TV is basically floating in mid-air. This is especially nice if you have a backlit setup like I do. So I have a hue light on the back of my TV, which lights up the wall behind it and again magnifies the fact that this TV basically has a floating stand design. So in terms of design, they really take advantage of the OLED technology, which allows the panel to be extremely thin because there's no backlight. In fact, if you look at the edge of the TV, it's almost as thin as an iPhone. It's even thinner than that when you consider that the OLED panel is only half of this thickness. Half of this is actually the glass upon which the OLED display is attached to. Honestly, this is something you don't really appreciate from a distance, but it's especially nice when you open this up for the first time. As always, there's quite a few benefits to OLED over traditional LED. LCD or LED backlit LCD TVs. OLED displays are an emissive technology, meaning that the pixels generate the light. So when they're off, you get absolute blacks. So you get that deep contrast, which is especially important for HDR content. Speaking of HDR, this supports all the major formats like Dolby Vision, Advanced HDR by Technicolor, HDR10, and HLG. The other benefit is the off-axis angle. So no matter where you stand around this TV, you're gonna see the exact same color representation. This is also the latest product to join LG's ThinQ AI platform, which allows LG's suite of devices to work together. Also exciting is the addition of the Google Voice Assistant built right into WebOS. So this allows you to use the Google Assistant right on your TV, so you can control your smart home or just search for content or check the weather. In terms of the ports, we get four HDMI 2 ports with one of them facing along the back while the ARC port is along the side. So we do have an audio return channel. We also get a LAN port, a Toslink optical digital audio output along with an AV input. We also get three USB ports, two facing the rear, one facing the side. Although I think most high-end TV users are gonna set up their own audio system, this does have a pretty impressive 4.1 channel Dolby Atmos speaker system. Most onboard speakers tend to sound pretty thin or flat, but these speakers deliver really rich and detailed sound that manages to fill a room without adding satellite speakers. Also included is LG's Magic Remote Controller. This is a pretty familiar design for LG. We've seen this for a number of years. This has an accelerometer built into it, so you can actually mouse around on the screen by waving the remote in the air. It works extremely well. I'm actually a big fan of this remote. We also have a scroll wheel on the D-pad, so you can mouse around on the interface, and we have all pretty familiar universal controls such as a voice button for interacting with the TV, as well as some dedicated hot buttons for Amazon and Netflix right on the remote. This is also a great universal remote, so anytime you add a device, it automatically programs the remote for the codes. So as soon as you switch to that input, your remote acts as the remote controller for that device. Now because this is a smart TV, there's really no need to add a set top box, but if you're a fan of the Apple TV, the good news here is that this is a perfect companion for it. It supports 4K along with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. As always, it's pretty difficult to 
illustrate just how amazing OLED looks, especially when it's in your home. So the best thing I can do here is show you the black levels on some video footage. So you'll see that you get absolute blacks. They're basically the same color as the bezel, the very thin bezel around the TV. So you don't see any light leaking or halos around the brighter areas of the shot. So you get that depth that you simply can't get on an LCD TV. One of the biggest changes I've seen with OLED TV since they first launched is that they've gotten quite a bit brighter. Now they're not quite as bright as an LCD or LED backlit TV, but ultimately I think those black levels are by far the most important factor here to create this vivid image. A few other benefits of OLED is the uniformity across the entire panel so there's no splotchiness, and also OLED runs quite a bit cooler than LCD. Ultimately, this is one of those pieces of technology that amazes me every time I get to use it. The picture quality is among the best on the TV market, and the interface is user-friendly and reliable with tons of features and customization. And I think it's worth the investment, especially now that the technology has matured and the prices are more reasonable, especially now that they're on discount. So you wanna check those out before the deals expire and the new models come in for 2019. So if you guys wanna check these out, I'll leave them linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know with a like and I'll see you again in my next video.